because you can just you can you can play a thousand matches and not get good. But you can take you can play ten matches and then study your technology all all the way through. Okay, this is Hunter Owner. He has the SSB 64 tag. I don't know if he's a 64 player. I know there's one guy that comes to Ultimate Locals and he plays 64. Mm -hmm. So not 100 percent sure, but we'll see. But just in general, this is probably a just a, just from theory crafting memory from Smash 4. This is probably a very bad matchup. Yeah, it's it can be pretty difficult. It's all up to Puff's opportunities to understand like going for options like that and understanding like your, the way that you will be dying really early to Lucina. So your best bet is knowing that Lucina is going to be approaching you and getting whiff punishes for Puff is really crucial because it, it could lead to edge, ledge guard phase and that's where things can really take off for you. But until you get there, you are suffering just like that with that board there. Yeah, but at the same time, Lucina doesn't really have to approach in this matchup at mm -hmm. all. She has that sword, she has that range, and Puff is a character that relies on aerial approaches. If you go grounded and then potentially try to go for shield or go mm -hmm. for a block punish, you could be eating a shield breaker mix-up instead. So exactly. You want to be safe in the air, but her range just suffers from that wall that Lucina puts up, so it's very difficult for Puff in general. But yeah. we got them on the edge guard. Immediate jump just gets back to the stage before uh, Hunter Owner could get anything started. Yeah, Puff has no follow-ups after a dash tag, so that just pretty much leaves Aladdin to go for an option to go ahead and survive. Yeah, and you'll see Aladdin not really holding forward on the control stick, wants to space out with Punish and bait Hunter Owner to try and get something started. Mm -hmm. You can see even at the ledge, when he gets that fair, he just drifts back a little bit, forces Hunter Owner oh. to think that he has the opportunity to get something. And then sometimes, maybe once out of every four times, he'll actually get a fair. Otherwise, he's getting mix-ups like that tomahawk grab, putting him off stage one more time. No edge guard that time around. That's gonna fall for him. Yeah, and he missed the tech there, and he could have gone to the tech of that situation. It's one thing you have to understand: like post hitboxes do last a little bit longer than what you would expect, so you have to get re ready to tech, especially when you're off the stage. Puff loves to go for those wall, those wall techs, those wall bounces. So you gotta be ready for that one. Oh, oh Vlad dips a little bit too low here. But he's able to come back on the stage. Center stage, usually that's where I feel like Hunter Owner wants to be, center stage. But he's been having, like I said, when you're fighting a wall with a sword like that, especially one as good as Lucina's, it's going to be really hard to get back center stage. And so far, Vlad's doing an excellent job not letting him play be safe. Yeah. Another thing, too, to consider is that if Aladdin is able to put Hunter Owner in a position of juggling, for example, like vertically, Puff, not the greatest landing option. She does have that those five jumps, but at the same time, that air dodge is really, really bad for yeah. Jigglypuff because of how much time it takes to come out of that air dodge drift. So that's another thing to consider as well. But we'll go ahead and see. Gets that trade in. And of course, like I said, every time, yeah, he's going to get that chip damage on Valadin. Damage is inevitable most, for the most part. But at the same time, look at Hunter Owner's percent. He's already 117. This character yeah. is Puff. Not the lightest character in the game anymore, but still up there in the balloon weight uh, percentages. Yeah, still so actually, I think Puff falls into the top five lightest characters of the game. Pichu is the new lightest character in the game, actually. Yeah, and the swipe of the back air, immediately understanding the cross up option. Hey, if he's behind me, just go for the back air shield. Okay, spawn from Aladdin. It's also one thing that you under gotta understand like, some puffs love to go for a cross up, and that's for you to respond with your out of shield options. And if you miss, if they miss the cross up, right, and they didn't space it right at all, they will be punished, especially the last of Aladdin. Definitely not gonna waste the opportunity for that one. Yep. Right. I'm gonna go right back to the puff. Man, no one plays. The, the pretty the pretty girl with the the flower puff anymore everyone just oh everyone, the hibiscus? everyone yeah. yeah hibiscus puff no everyone just plays um, sleepy, sl time. sleepy hat puff yeah sleepy time puff back from the brawl days alrighty you know why we, we got we, dash dances this do, time do you know already. why though because we missed the H box hall <laughs> that used to be the H box hall, the, the, the yeah, game, yeah, yeah the main bandana mm -hmm. switch all oh, that was powerful shield damage there but nonetheless the line will get through it and then this is hunting power his opportunity here that's where he wants to be right the advantage state when you finally manage to get that forwarder and start putting pressure off stage. Right, nice. We did air dodge, good whiff punish. Hunter Power looking to take a lot of advantage here and Aladdin just struggling to come back on stage. Gotta be careful, don't waste your jump like that, because one up, one missed opportunity and Hunter Power will take advantage of it. That back air getting the whiff punish on with great DI. Nice not wasting a jump. Yeah, you and can you see the you can see the range of puff even in the um, advantage state for Puff, it's str starting to struggle for her too, because he knows that Lucina can always just come in with like a landing fair or something, mm -hmm. and it'll just be over. Like my advantage state is over, so he's trying to drift away, get that right distance before uh, Vladin can get something started. But that allows opportunities for Vladin to come back. Now, all of a sudden, I know that Hunter Owner worked very hard to get this percent on Vladin, but 
yeah, I was going to say he's at kill percent, but one big reversal like that, that is the stock already. And oh. now we're in a two stock situation instead. When you talk about cross slips, right, that situation, Vladimir literally just had advantage there. And I understand he was trying to just deal more pressure, but 100 power was fresh off the stock, man. He literally had a vulnerability, so he sh it's always his cue to, I want to stand back, wait for him to come to me and then find another option until he gets out of invincibility, especially from coming from the uh, Angel platform. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, Vladimir still carrying the match. Nice tries to go for that dash grab, but unfortunately, of course, I feel like the stage kind of messed them up here. A slant missing the grab for Vladimir. And Vlad is just very, pay, very patient, just wasting shield. Even though Pound is a threat, it won't really shield break unless there's a little bit of time already spent on your shield. Mm -hmm. So it's still a viable option. It's not like we've seen a shield breaker where it's just one poke and then all of a sudden <laughs> your yeah, shield to pebble. So a little bit more leeway for Vlad to be on the defensive side. The one thing I'm surprised we're not seeing from Vlad, especially at the ledge, is down to the 4 or 4 tilt. It's not necessarily like 100% the, the, the best option, but when you have it spaced at the ledge, even on a stage like this, it's actually still a really good option. As I say that, you know, the devil has been called out. Valana is starting to go ahead and put that into good use. Because you want that poking tool, right? Especially when the, if the way that we're seeing Hunter Power come from the ledge, he keeps going for roll get up. So you're, if you're able to space that 4 tool, right, you will get the ledge punish. The roll get up punish, at least. Alrighty. Jump is gone. Yep, that was just Valadin getting a little bit greedy, kind of feeling himself when he was off stage. Alright, he's like, okay, let me get a little bit of extra damage because I know I've been getting these reversals off stage mm -hmm. in the first two stocks. Think about the first encounters, man. You hey, land back on back on the ledge here, trying to get that neutral. Especially when it goes for the landing one there, the second hit will connect. If you go ahead and fast follow it. Okay. All right, I like what Hunter Owner just did there. Use the lip on Yoshi's Island just to protect himself. Big opportunity here. Gets that double fair, triple fair. Did he one more time? Oh, oh, no. oh no! I think that bear was supposed to be a fair, mm. and then he just kind of messed it up there. Unfortunate, and that's going to be another opportunity for Aladdin to come back. And I want to say that this is pretty much dead even. He caught the air. He caught the forward air there, and he almost used. He almost caught the jump. That's one thing that we saw when when Hunter Power got those triple triple forward airs because. If the Lana would have panicked and used his jump, that would have been a dead Lucina. Hands down. Oh, and that lasting hitbox from Lucha Air. And he strikes back from the deep, but he unfortunately missing that. A B sweet spot. Hunter Power taking it over a lot of talk about a reversal. Yeah, well, <laughs> Hunter Owner just made it out of there with the skin of his teeth. I can't believe that happened. Oh, yeah. my God. And <laughs> Hunter Owner and uh, Valadin just kind of looked at each other like, all right, that was cool, but yeah. I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Yeah. But going yeah, but going back to that situation how it played out when he got the three four airs, like I said, he literally if he he almost read the jump. And well, that's the one thing I like about Vladin, right? He hasn't been been getting scared every time he gets hit from Puff, because Puff loves when you waste your jump. And the minute she takes away your jump, you're literally dead. He would have died there if he did not use if he used his jump there. So good thing good stuff from Vladin for not panicking. He kinda knows not to panic against Puff and understand like, hey, if I save my jump, I'll be fine. But if I use it too early and he calls it out, I will take I will take the loss. Alrighty, here we go. Going back to Pokemon Stadium, of course, on our rule set, there is no DSR, so you can go back to the stage that you just last one on. Yeah, Hunter Owner definitely been adapting and playing a little bit oh, more. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. He's not using his jump, and even when he got back on the stage, right, he just did not use his jump, wanted to go for the quick up B. Yeah, this is where Puff struggles though at the ledge. Again, that range just allows Aladdin all this space to be able to respond and just play passively, waiting for how a Troner is going to be able to approach. But there we go. Okay, gets the trade. Better than nothing. And now again, just the Lucina Sword just doing a good job of keeping away the balloon. Okay, so far, one thing I do like the Aladdin has been able to do is just kind of stick back like he's looking for whiff punishes because he knows that sometimes when he goes for his forward air uh hunter will call him out for it. he'll go for the forward himself and he'll go for it early so then Vlad will get hit by him risking being put in the ledge guard face so Vlad kind of standing back the one thing that's been working one for him is that situation where we saw played out he's been using the landing neutral airs because if he doesn't hit him with the first hit he'll hit him with the second hit and now we're starting to see the down tilt play which is what i wanted to see originally Ooh, a little bit of a bait there Aladdin just saves his jump and just uh, able to get out of that situation just fine and be able to put him off stage one more time. Yeah, looks like Hunter Owner still looking for that dash attack to be able to connect on the anti-air, but it's not quite coming for him. I mean, Puff doesn't really have 
<laughs> those really good anti-airs that the sword characters do, so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of trying to find a landing instead. But Vladin's been do got, doing a good job of conditioning from the first couple of games. It was like, okay, I'm going to land with aerials, and you got, you're going to be caught by these. Oh my god, and already. You got triple fairs, but I got them too, says Vladin. All right, I like it. Hunter Power immediately gets the neutral and immediately gets back off of him. Kind of understand, like, hey, I would have got a shield punish there, so I might as well take the safe route. It's another forward there. He's got the call out here, the edge guard phase for Hunter Power. Can he call out the landing option? And he goes for the neutral get up there, and I like the fact that Hunter Power went for a neutral, but he kind of went for the back hit of it, and unfortunately that was putting, pushing Vladin back towards the stage. Another opportunity. Tries to get up and immediately goes for the back air as soon as Vladin swings. Yeah. Good bait and conditioning there. Just uh, caught him. Trying to do that jump fair that he's been doing the whole time, just barely whipped it, and he's got that opportunity with that back air. Try and even things up here. That's kind of what I feel like Hunter, pa Hunter Owen is trying to do, is kind of baiting condition for Aladdin. Aladdin's been not necessarily even baited at all. He's been playing pretty safe here, but he kind of knows, like, hey, if Hunter Owner's going to go ahead and try to call my jumps, try to play like this at the ledge, it's my cue to understand what I can do instead. Can tries to read the roll get up on the stage, but he misses that side beam. He gets the forward there because Hunter Owen tries to land with an option there. Immediately call Allen off from Vladin. Yeah. Before Vladin's been kind of waiting and seeing how Hunter Owen's going to get back, that time just went for the immediate option. Mm -hmm. Able to catch him there. Back to the square one, just outspacing that range that Jigglypuff tries to control. Now, with this stock lead especially, it just makes it so much easier for Vladin to play a little bit more relaxed. Forward air, lining neutral air here. Vladin working on something a little bit better, and then and he doesn't necessarily have to, right? He's kind of been calling on our owner's options. So the one thing that he is doing a lot better though is kind of like staying safely spaced a little bit more from Hunter Owner because he knows he wants to go for those lining neutral airs. Oh, tries to go for the, the anti play. It doesn't quite work out Uses there. Uses jump here, but he, I like the fact that he went for the the counter, but. If Hunter Owner got the right read, he still would have called it out. Unfortunately, that dash type will take care of it. Vladin mm -hmm. is doing a good job of ha mixing up how he makes it back to the stage. Before it will save his jump, then it was air dodge through, then it was use the counter. So he's using all of his options available to him, just keeping Hunter Owner on his toes. So it makes him doubt of his next edge guard opportunity. Mm -hmm. You can see that Vladin wants to get the work money because he knows Hunter Owner is literally on the, uh, the ending side. Almost gets that forest match because he got crossed over. Let's go for another Lutra and that forwarded the minute Hunter Owner feels like it's safe. I kind of respect it, but the one thing I kind of wanted to see him do is use those jumps and then try to reset himself around the ledge because 